So I guess we're long overdue for a bit of a an update video and I have something kind of exciting to share with you guys. So this is our our hideout here for um, for the pandemic. You know, got off the boat and um, we've just been social distancing and uh, trying to keep safe ever since we uh, we left Florida. Um, Gardner's here today, nice uh, Nobe fellow. Um, anyway, so this is the garden I've I've been making. We've we've added up the the tomatoes and uh, you know this is all lemongrass and uh, peppers and we've got carrots over here and there's onions and I've got a whole herb garden that I've put in over here in the in the boxes. Uh, but that's not the exciting thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, but as you can see, I've kind of put some stones as I've made these beds. I've been putting stones around them to protect the, the beds. And uh, recently I made a new addition over here and I needed some more, um, some more stones. So I've just been walking up the road here a short ways uh, because the bulldozer came through recently and... Um, they dug up a bunch of rocks from the side of the road, so that's where I've been. I've been getting them from. They were easy to to pick up, and I just wash them off and put them around the beds. But I've used them all up, and uh, the last time I went, I had to take a shovel. This is the road here. Um, I had to take a shovel and dig a few up. And while I was digging, I found something. So up ahead there, that's the um, that's the coffee plantation, the coffee finca. Um, that's where the all the kids and the families stay. Uh, and up on the hillside, you can see all the coffee plants. But anyways, so this is the side of the road, and you can see where I've been digging here. And uh, didn't you know? Obviously, not digging very deep, just trying to get some rocks off the the surface there. And I pick up pretty much everything. And what I picked up and didn't notice until we'd washed it off was this. And as you can see, it's got a highly polished surface, uh, very regular. And uh, I sort of immediately went, well, that's odd. And once it had been cleaned off, I recognized that this was very likely a stone axe head. So I put it up on one of the archaeological sites and there was quite a bit of debate with some people saying that this was something called leverite, as in leverite there. Uh, so a lot of, a lot of um, jokes at my expense uh, and many other people said congratulations, you've, you've found a rock. But uh, I was able to track down a Panamanian archaeologist, uh, a man who is uh, an expert in uh, stone tools uh, by the name of Dr. Anthony, and I'm gonna, I hope I'm saying his last name correctly, Rainier. And so I sent him some pictures and he replied. And what he said was, is this is a stone, half of a stone axe head, um, something called a Celt, that it is between um, well 500 bc or right up to as recent as 1700 a.d so somewhere around 300 years to uh potentially two and a half thousand years old he says they're very common in the cherokee highlands around here uh and that this particular one he says that you can see that the edge has been uh re-napped so that it's actually been repurposed for for a secondary use after it probably broke uh you know as you can see there's a piece missing there so anyways just wanted to share that with everybody some fairly exciting news now i am trying to figure out what the next step is uh i've contacted some panamanian um archaeological uh people and you know obviously they speak spanish and i've translated uh, everything into spanish but i haven't heard anything back yet about what i should do with this or what potentially is you know is, is this an archaeological site right here should somebody be digging on the the edge of the road anyways i'll uh, if i find out more i'll let you guys know oh and hit that subscribe button we'd really appreciate your support